Good morning. Welcome to uh, day seven. This will be our last day on the road. Just cleaning up here at the hut. Taylor's been cooking some brekkie. Damn right I had. Been nestled in here for <coughs> well last night and yesterday. It was so good to get out of the wind. Mind you, the wind stopped as soon as the sun sort of went away. Yeah. And it was a beautiful, pleasant evening. Well, Till we went coming. to bed. It got a bit windy, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steve's van was rocking for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And uh, our tent felt like it was going to blow away. I was getting slapped on the head by oh, the tent, yeah. tent all night. Yeah. Then you're all thinking, is he going to take off? <laughs> no. It's horrible. I counted the time I slept, it was about 2.98 seconds for the whole night. I had a fantastic sleep. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever, you know the word hatred? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we'll pack up our crap here at the old Shearer's quarters and head back down to Sandstone today. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go check out the old gold battery, Steve. Okay. Uh, the London Bridge, they call it. Creative name. It's just a natural sandstone bridge. Yeah, yeah. There's something else out there we can see. I forgot what it was. It's the underground. Oh, that's right. The underground. Is that all camping or something? Nah. So, check that out near Sandstone, which won't take us more than an hour to get to. Yeah, yeah. And then down near Payne's Fine. Mm hmm. Camp down there. Sounds good. I got a lot of shit to put away, so I'm going to get on yeah, top yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, go Stop in Sandstone for fuel and drinks. We have choices for fuel, including across the road there or across the road there. Turns out the pub is also the general store. It's also, what else is it? The coffee shop. Yeah, it's the coffee shop. The local cafe. Yeah, it, so the pub it's is pub. everything. The pub is everything. And to some people, the pub is everything to them. But this pub is actually everything. So the story with this little cave is in 1907 an Irishman from Sandstone started up a brewery and dug out this little cave in the in the breakaway uh, to keep the beer cool and up top he had all the brewing stuff did all the brewing up there uh, pumped water and everything up to the top and then there's a shaft back here that we'll have a look at where the beer was stored down in this cave which would keep it nice and cool and drinkable even on these like 47 degree hot days here in sandstone. Next thing to see is the London Bridge. Somehow I don't think the 
Shorty will get over it. No. Uh, it's a little bit thin now. Mm. I think I've only just scraped on there. Yeah, it's a little bit eroded on the crossing over. I read somewhere that this bridge was estimated to be 10 metres high in the middle. Seems like a load of bollocks. Yeah. The stories are from the early settlers of the sandstone area so they'd come out here for their picnics and it apparently once was wide enough that you could take a horse and buggy over it. Now I'd say it's maybe you know, 1.2 to 1.5 metres wide. Eroding quite quickly so got to be gentle with it and not walk on it or throw rocks at it or drive cars over it. It's not going to be here forever. Maybe, this is just a theory, the uh, indigenous tribes used to like have fires against the breakaway and the fires sort of eroded into a bridge. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. That's a pretty whack theory. Probably didn't happen. In South Australia, they have big problems with energy. Well, they did, until Mr. Tesla, um, I forget the guy's name, Nikolai Tesla, came, went forward in time from when he invented the battery. Um, now they've got this big te like Tesla power bank thing. So South Australia is powered by a state battery, went in like a couple of years ago. Well, guess what, South Australia? We had state batteries first. Battery, as in to batter the rock. Yeah, as opposed to a batter charge. How many batteries have we seen? This is the third now? Yeah, it's probably one of the smallest too. It is. But look, uh, costs less to run. Yep, makes less noise. Just keep churning stuff through it all yeah, the time, you know, you get your quantity. Yeah. Lots of old tailing stands around. Yeah, look, there's nothing to write home about. It's another battery. This wall, however, how is the engineering? Freaking impressive. Look at the stratification on there. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. But yeah. It's I'm like a Maku Picchu thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm more, more impressed by the rocks themselves than the wall. The wall's awesome, but the rocks. It's beautiful. Ah. Oh. Future Alex here, coming to you from the land of funny hats, where the hat selection is running thin. And you know what else is running thin? It's this video series. We really appreciate you watching this, so make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and support us on Patreon. Link is down below if you'd like to check that out. Thanks again, let's finish this video off. What you got for lunch, Jake? I have some hamper since 1905. Great in salads. Light corned beef, 25% less fat because there's 25% more jelly. Spam in salad is a terrible idea. Day seven. Toha zin jafar. I'm stuffed, eh? I got wine flu. Did you drink wine last night? Oh, I drank wine, some American honey, beer. I was going at it for a while. Not feeling enthusiastic. I'll tell you about the Jaffa in a moment. Well, on the very last day, I completely ruined this Jaffa. It's not so appealing, but God, I can't be bothered making another. That's a pumpkin macaroni bake that we made last night. Put a little bit of blue cheese in it. I like blue cheese.
presenting. And there's sparks flying. He's presenting and there's friction. Trying to do it the man's way. Yep, I'm not a very good man though. This is way too thick. We found camp for the last night. Just a little roadside stop out of Payne's Find. You start going south of Payne's Find and it's hard to find um, anywhere to stop kind of close to the highway. See what you did there. <sighs> Payne's found a campsite here one time. Yeah, that'll do us for our last night. We're having a fire. Again, there's plenty of firewood here. We have had a fire every single night on this trip. And uh, that's pretty awesome. Final day in the bush after our week-long Goldsfields trip. And we haven't really done a whole lot of uh, cooking together, have we? So, on the last night, I'm gonna make a pumpkin soup. And we begin with this here bugging up pumpkin. Gotta peel that. Ingredients have magically begun to appear. So while they keep showing up, I'm gonna just cut this pumpkin with this tiny blunt knife into large chunks. Okay, there's pumpkin chunks. Now the interesting thing with this recipe is I'm actually gonna roast the pumpkin with my onion in the pot first. Uh, so this is my camp oven. I've got some oil splashed around in the bottom. Um, the way I do this one at home, I actually just boil it in the stock until it's uh, smooth and then use a stick blender to blend it all up into a soup. But I don't have a stick blender out here, so my theory is that if I roast it, I can then get my, my veggie masher that I have here yeah. and mash all the pumpkin and onion together. Absolutely. And then stir through the stock when it's roasted. The next thing that makes this pumpkin soup recipe really interesting is red curry paste. A tablespoon or so. What difference that that wind? Here we go. And I'm just going to stir that around until the curry paste coats all my uh, pumpkin and onion. Now I've just got to wait for the fire to pump out some good coals to cook this with, so I'll pop the lid on for now. This pumpkin's been roasting for like a fortnight. It's soft enough. Got my masher from home. I'm just gonna pulverize it. Not so good on the onion. The onion's not mashing so well. So if you're gonna try this one, probably dice the onion. Harry's fired a fork with a wooden cup. They happen to be uh, precisely one cooking cup, 250 mil. So two cups, or well, two cups of veggie stock, which I'm using powdered, so it's uh, two cups of water and a teaspoon of the veggie powder. Let's call that a teaspoon, why not? I think I'll probably just stoke some more coals underneath and uh, let it bubble away, just until it's warm and I guess the flavors of this combined with it. Nice. It's the last fire of our week out in the gold fields. I think I already told you that we just camped up on a random plot near Payne's Find. And uh, seems pretty fitting that we all talk about what our favorite thing was of the trip. So who's ready to go first? <laughs> Jake's always ready. I mean, I was I was ready for a I was ready for a campfire talk, but I just hadn't prepared anything. <laughs> um, Prepare now. <laughs> Gualia was amazing. I highly recommend you get out there and have a look at that. Um, that 
And Lake Ballard, that was pretty special, that place. I'll happily go back. Mm. In fact, I probably will. <clears throat> yeah, I think I could almost go back to Lake Ballard as well. Uh, I'm going to choose like a, a stretch for my one. Um, the stretch that I haven't seen before, which was the Niagara Dam and Kukaini with the, the pub with a horse. <laughs> that, was a, that was a pretty good fun day for me. Yeah. <clears throat> What about you, Pete? Uh, I've in actually enjoyed the whole lot that's been, and to be asked to come out by the young fellas, it's uh, really on to be asked. And uh, there's lots of things that I haven't seen, mm. and uh, I've really enjoyed the whole lot. Gwalia was really, really interesting. Uh, the pub was different, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely different with the horse. Yeah. Um, and seeing that dam, um, I can't remember the name of it now, but uh, uh, yeah. Not, yeah, there we go. Niagara Dam. Yeah, that, and that was really interesting. And uh, campfires every night, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every single night. It makes me, um, I remember actually, there's something that you didn't see, which was a pub feed that we had in <coughs> um, Sandstone. So. Mm. After that day where we went and saw all those um, stops along the side of the road and the old coach stopping points and wells, uh, we were driving into the dark and just sort of regrouped in sandstone and then just like that, impromptu pub feed. That was a pretty good moment. How about you, Steve? Well, Raleigh was, uh, was very good, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, how tough it was for those people. Mm. Yeah, the contrast was Hoover would be on the top of the hill looking down on them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that and the driving, just seeing the, the vehicle just disappear into a, a mystical cloud almost. Yeah. And um, yeah, mm. that how was the main, main thing, yeah. How was that first afternoon when we were coming into the first camp, right at sort of sunset there and the lights flickering through the trees? Oh yeah, that was, that was almost a mythical. Just yeah. after you know, Coolgardie. Um, yeah, mm. just out of Coolgardie. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Anything could have come out that missed that point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully not a massive bull that wipes out your vehicle. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I haven't seen much of is Rory's jumping across. We've done a few night or evening runs with the dust. Yeah. There's been no Rory's jumping out in front of the cars or. I'm yeah. glad about that because I don't yeah. have a bar on the front. Yeah, yeah. Neither does the mooks. No. What about you, Rihanna? Definitely the jackals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. Twat um, is your fail. Yeah. <laughs> I think the whole thing's been pretty awesome. The goldfields is not something I've seen before, so it was really good to actually get out here. And um, it's it's hard to pick a favourite thing, um, but just being able to get away from society and mm. back to basics is yeah something I really enjoy, so... Phone's not working for days at yeah, a time. Yeah, exactly right. So mm. like, the whole trip's been awesome. It doesn't take long to forget all those things that have been bothering you for months. Oh, oh no, mm. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Then you get into reception and your phone goes ballistic. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, still yeah. reminded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't yeah. take yeah. long for it to all set back in yeah. again. Yeah. Are you ready yet, Jake? Mm. We got. Yeah. I mean, I, I've learned so, so much in such a short amount of time, but, but the today was beautiful for me. Just uh, driving along the road doesn't change much and the scenery doesn't change much, but uh, that gave me time to just, just reflect on what I've learned over the, over the last week, which it seems a lot longer than that. You can certainly... Mm. Uh, learn a whole lot more in one week out here than you can in society, you know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, come out here and uh, so it's all, usually people start getting a bit tired towards the end, but today, I mean, I'm tired, but my brain has been really good while I've been driving along these roads and just letting it just uh, save and file mm. These, yeah. these beautiful lessons, yeah. There's no distractions out here though. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can actually... So you can actually file work. things away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think another another cool thing was the eagles we saw on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. gorgeous, aren't they? And that one at the camp where it yeah, the hawk took the bacon, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 
the Baconator. Yeah. 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 All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed seven days of daily adventure videos. It's uh, been an interesting challenge to film. It's been a lot of fun to go. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you're subscribing to this channel and share the series around with your friends. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you don't like it, press the thumbs down button twice. Yes, yes, you can never forget that. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>